Today we are talking about tea and I am no expert on tea but I love talking about tea and I love hearing people who are tea drinkers and just also love tea talking about tea. So today I am going to give you my top five, is it five? Let's try that again. Today I'm going to give you my top six favorite herbal teas and talk a little bit about why they are my favorites, not just because they taste good, but because of what they can do for your body. So my first favorite tea is a probiotic lemon ginger tea that I discovered on accident. I had started drinking lemon tea in the morning just because I heard it helps with digestion. Lemon in general helps with digestion, but I like hot drinks in the morning. So I started drinking a, lem a lemon tea. However, my dad one day ordered a batch of lemon tea, but when it came in, it said probiotic on the front, and so we were both really confused. But after further research, um, we discovered really the benefits of what a probiotic can do for you. And there's more in this on my video about immunity, but basically probiotics are fantastic for your gut health, and you really should be taking one every day. And in this case, it's in a tea form, which was just amazing so i was getting my lemon for digestion i was getting my probiotic for gut health and then i was getting ginger which is excellent for immunity and just giving you a little kick in the butt so that is my first favorite tea it's super easy to brew i just kind of pour hot water over the bag and that's it. I don't add honey. I don't add sugar, no sweeteners. I don't think it needs it. It's a very mild tasting tea and it's non-caffeinated so you can drink it at night or you can drink it first thing in the morning while you're still waking up. Um, really you can just drink it at any point. A lot of people recommend taking probiotics in the evening so if you want to stick to that then this is definitely one that's safe to drink in the evening because it is non-caffeinated. My second favorite tea that I I swear by is raspberry tea. Raspberry tea was first recommended to me after I had my first daughter because raspberries help with hormone hormonal balance for women and it helps with bleeding, which I had no idea about until my midwife recommended that I drink at least two to three cups a day um, right after giving birth to my daughter to really cut down on the bleeding daily. I did notice a difference on weeks when I ran out and just couldn't make it to the store. I did notice a heavier bleeding weed flow. I drink it now, especially when I am on my period. And I don't know the science behind the raspberry teas, um, but I have noticed that when I consistently drink it for the week of my period and beginning a few days before, my period is shorter by like two days. And I thought it was just me um, or something in my head or something that was going on that was just like a fluke in the system. But I actually heard this from multiple other women who began drinking the tea and it wasn't that anybody had told them that it was going to make their periods shorter. It was just they picked up on it happening. So it does definitely help with bleeding, at least for me. Also, it's delicious. I drink raspberry teas a lot in the evening time. The kind I drink most of the time is non-caffeinated. I also have a black tea and raspberry mix that is great for during the daytime, which like I said, when I'm on my period is when I kind of like trickle up on the raspberry tea. So during the day, I might drink the black tea with the raspberry. And like I said, that one is caffeinated. So don't drink that before bed. Um, but the other brand that I drink is not caffeinated and it's fantastic for the evening time. And it's really great if you're having a sweet tooth. My favorite candy is Twizzlers. And so that's my go-to at like right before bed. But a cup of raspberry tea can you hear my dog snoring? <laughs> but a cup of raspberry tea really satisfies that craving for me. I do love to put just gobs of honey in it. If I have the squeezable honey, I would just stand over my cup and I will count to 10. I do 10 seconds of honey. If I'm scooping it, I'll do like three uh, tablespoons into my cup. I just, I really like the sweetness that comes out with the honey 
beautiful raspberry tea. And I will link all these teas down below that I can find on Amazon for you guys to check out if you're interested. None of these are sponsored. These are my favorite teas. I just so happen to buy the majority of them on Amazon. The only one I think won't be linked down below is the black raspberry tea because I buy that from a local farmer here, but maybe you'll find a brand that you really like and you can share it in the comments below. Okay, the next tea that I really like is dandelion tea, and this sounded so weird to me to be drinking a weed, um, but it is considered an herb, and I did not know that, but it's considered an herb because of its healing aspects that dandelion has, and the reason I started drinking dandelion tea is because I've been really trying to work on my complexion. I am almost 30 years old and still breaking out a lot with acne. Um, I think I think I have gotten my secret formula down but that will be a whole different video um, but dandelion tea is part of that secret formula basically it helps to cleanse your liver and your liver is also what helps with hormone balance and which affects your skin um, if you have acne then that is definitely something to check out the brand of dandelion tea that I drink I think um, it's called Dandy Detox, but like I said, I will link it down below. I love this brand because it's mixed with other herbs. So there's lemon in there, there's ginger, there's peppermint, I believe there's some um, some rose, some rose hip. Um, there's a bunch of other things in there, but it really sweetens up the tea, and I like sweet teas. Dandelion is a very bitter herb, so if you're just going to get dandelion leaf and make the tea out of that, like I did the first time, um, if you're okay with it being bitter, then, you know, power to you, you'll be just fine. Otherwise, for me, when I just used the dandelion leaf, I kind of did the same thing with the raspberry tea where I'm like dousing it with honey, counting to 10, squeezing the bottle. But with the brand that I'm drinking now, mixed with the other herbs, I put maybe just a tiny scoop of honey, just like half a scoop of honey in there, um, just to give it a little more kick. What I also like about this tea is that because it's mixed with the peppermint and the other things, I like to drink it after a meal. I feel like it really helps to settle my stomach and keep me from getting bloated. And the peppermint in the tea, I believe, really helps me to focus during the day. So I like to drink this in the middle of the day. I have at times drank it at night before bed, but I wouldn't re necessarily recommend it. It could just be me, so you might not but so you might want to test it out. It's not caffeinated, but I did feel like it made me more alert when I drank it, so that's why I prefer to drink it in the afternoon. Speaking of alertness, the next tea that I love is peppermint tea. I love peppermint mixed in with other teas, like I was talking about with the dandelion tea, but I also just love plain peppermint tea on its own. Peppermint is fantastic for digestion. It's fantastic for focus and alertness. I drink peppermint tea. Usually when I'm going to drink it, it's after, um, after a really big meal. It keeps me from feeling bloated. Um, it just kind of helps me settle in, kind of like I was saying with it being mixed with the dandelion. I found that I'm not drinking as much just plain peppermint tea anymore because I am doing the dandelion tea more, but it is just really refreshing so like for me just around like three o'clock I kind of need like a boost and peppermint tea really does that for me it gives me that refreshing feel and it makes me get that little extra kick to keep going now last year before all this went down I did get really sick in the winter um, and so somebody recommended to me green tea. She swears by green tea. She drinks three cups every morning, she said. However, I really did not like the taste of green tea and I tried it mixed with multiple things. However, I found the green tea that I really enjoyed and it happened to be decaf. So it is a sleepy time bedtime tea and it is decaf green tea which i did not know was a thing but it is and it's mixed with jasmine and lemon and a few other things but y'all this tea it is so delicious it is so soothing if you have trouble falling asleep at night or if you're just having one of those nights where you can't fall asleep and you want some sort of natural remedy to help you ease into sleepiness then this is the tea for you it's delicious i put just a little bit of honey also in this one but something about the jasmine just makes this tea it tastes like dessert to me and then i'm like out for the night. I've 
gotten my big cup of tea and only gotten halfway through and just realized that like my eyes are falling asleep my or my eyes are drooping and I'm like falling asleep and I have drank sleepy time teas before and they've had no effect on me other than maybe I feel like a little calmer but they have not straight up made me feel like I'm ready for bed except until I found this tea and it was amazing for those nights where like I just was wired and I could not fall asleep and I drink half a cup of this and I'm out and ready for bedtime. The last tea that I love is chai and it took me forever to try chai but my sister convinced me to. The brand of chai that I get is very subtle. Um, it's not very strong so I do find that after I pour the water over the tea bag I don't like to add anything thing to it because it takes away from the flavor. I do want to find a stronger brand of chai just because I love how delicious and warm it feels. It's a very, um, I'm going to say spicy, but not like hot burn your mouth spicy. It just has a lot of spices in it. It has like ginger, it has clove. Um, I think there's a little black pepper in there and it just gives you that warm, cozy, sitting by the fireside feeling and I absolutely love this tea. This is another tea that is great for when you're on your period. It just gives you this warmth and comforting feel. I honestly don't know what other medicinal aspects it has for your body other than it just makes you feel cozy and warm which sometimes when it's that time of month like you know getting something like that that makes you feel good and gives you you know just a little happiness a little smile um while you're having cramps and all that kind of stuff that's all you can ask for so I really love chai especially around when I'm getting my period I really love chai on a rainy day or just if I'm having a bad day something about it just gives me this comforting feeling of coming into myself it's great right before I meditate it doesn't like put you in a trance or anything crazy like that um, it just makes you feel really grounded that's the word I was looking for it really grounds you into your body so those are six of my favorite teas like I said I love talking about tea so if you have a favorite tea or if you prepare yours differently than any way that I have talked about then be sure to let me know in the comments below I would love to talk to you about it Thanks so much for sharing your time with me and I will see you next time. Bye!